Even if I knew that, tomorrow, the world would go to pieces, I would still plant my, apple tree. Faith, is a living, daring confidence in God's grace, so sure, and certain that a man could stake his life, on it a thousand times. I cannot, and will not recant anything, for to go against conscience, is neither right, nor safe. Here I stand, I can do no other, so help me, God. Amen. I have held many things, in my hands, and I have lost them all, but whatever, I have placed in God's hands, that I still possess. War, is the greatest plague, that can afflict humanity, it destroys religion, it destroys states, it destroys families. Any scourge is preferable, to it. For in the true nature of, things, if we rightly consider, every green tree is far more, glorious than, if it were made of gold, and silver. There is no more lovely, friendly, and charming relationship, communion, or company than, a good marriage. To be a Christian, without prayer, is no more possible than, to be alive without, breathing. God, writes the Gospel, not in the Bible alone, but also on trees, and in the flowers, and clouds, and stars. Beautiful music, is the art of the prophets, that can calm the agitations, of the soul, it is one of the most magnificent, and delightful presents, God has given us. Peace, is more important than, all justice, and peace was not made for the sake of, justice, but justice for the sake of, peace. I am more afraid of, my own heart, than of the Pope, and all his cardinals. I have within me, the great Pope, self. Justice, is a temporary thing, that must at last come, to an end, but the conscience is eternal, and will never, die. Together, with God's people in united adoration, of the Father, is as necessary to the Christian life, as prayer. I am afraid, that the schools will prove the very gates, of hell, unless, they diligently labor in explaining, the holy scriptures, and engraving them in the heart, of the youth. First, I shake the whole apple tree, that, the ripest might fall. Then, I climb the tree, and shake each limb, and then each branch, and then each twig, and then, I look under, each leaf. You should not believe, your conscience, and your feelings more, than the word, which the Lord, who receives sinners preaches, to you. If he have faith, the believer cannot be restrained. He betrays himself. He breaks out. He confesses, and teaches this gospel to the people, at the risk of life, itself.